Wood to ask if the documentary is ready. Great Nigerian women, uh, uh, that is not good enough. If we, I think the, key, the guest speaker has said to us that huh, if we must be at par with our men, we must take it by fire by fire. Great Nigerian women, thank you. Are you ready? Can we make it 50-50 by 2020? <laughs> I think what is emphatic here, and I can see that some of the men are getting very jittery, is not that the women want to take over. What we are saying is we don't want to be left behind. We want to be part of it. If we have 10 people on board, then five should be women and five should be men. That way we would accelerate national development. So let's give it up to a governor who believes in it. Let's give it up to his wife who says, yes, we can. Let's give it up to the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria who says Nigerian women are capable. Can I hear the loud round of applause? Thank you very much. Is the documentary ready? Right. Can we please have the documentary? Ten years of excellent, undiluted professional journalism are still blazing strong like the racing cheetah. Be it news, local and international, politics, education reviews, business, sports, and our every weekend entertainment blast. Now with our five printing presses strategically located across the country. Our distribution networks, a matter of fact, is bigger than all others put together. We come to you at the first light of dawn, even before you say good morning. Our with our vintage and passionate team of professionals, we set the standard others are struggling to meet and we continue to raise the bar now and even in the future. We are the advertiser's first choice. Always remember, we are the medium with the numbers to deliver because we are the voice of the voiceless millions. What can I do the sun? The sun, voice of the nation. How far has the Nigerian woman come in winning in a man's How far has the Nigerian woman come in winning in a man's world? How does she delete from Ikorodu, Lagos State, and married to a dashing young lawyer of 70 years of age. And we have four grown-up gentlemen and grandchildren. But it has not been a right to riches fairy tale. It has not been an overnight phenomenon. For as long as I can remember, I've always wanted my own business. I'm trying to tell you how I got to where I am if you want those billions. Hard work, diligence, persistence. Days where you nearly gave up, but I chose not to give up. It would have been easy to compromise, but I chose not to. But I stayed focused. I could have stayed a secretary as my father desired according to his plans, but I had bigger aspirations. I dreamt big. God strengthened me and gave me wisdom. I had a passion and burning desire to succeed. Being a secretary, a banker, a fashion icon, a corporate promoter and printer, a real estate owner, an oil magnate, firm belief that what is worth doing at all is worth doing well, or not at all. I took charge of my life. Today, additional accomplishments include but are not limited to a wife 
of almost 40 years. A mother, grandmother, ministry, counseling, outreach, NGO, Rose of Sharon Foundation for Widows and Orphans, writer, author of se several inspirational books. All, all I say to the glory of God. So at 63, I'm not yet done. So what is your excuse? Unfortunately, I never went to a university and I'm proud to be able to say so because I don't think I've done too badly. You do not have to have a university education to be able to make it. But I dare to dare you to dream to deliver. This is the face of the new woman. The Nigerian woman winning in a man's world. She has explored new frontiers, actively shaped for profit and non-profit worlds. She has used leadership skills to achieve business and political success and personal fulfillment. Above all, she inspires leadership in others. You need to keep an eye on things yourself. You have to know, you have to learn the business yourself. Because in not understanding the entire process, it can be expensive. So one needs to learn, but you only know that after you start. Even if I were told, I probably wouldn't believe completely. So I, I had to learn all the various processes to the very minutest one, to the biggest aspect. Never, ever give up. There's nothing wrong with failing. The only thing that's wrong is to stay down. Learn from the mistakes you make and get up and try again. You keep at it until you succeed. But one needs to persevere and keep at it all the time. Understand yourself what gives you the greatest pleasure. So you do what you enjoy doing and you make money in the process. That way it's seamless, it's easy. It just comes naturally. Even in the face of social restrictions and society's imposed shackles, some Nigerian women were pushing those buttons so that today's 2014 Nigerian woman is the freest she has ever been since 1960. Like these great women, not even as elected officers or, or uh, appointed people. These are people that give their time, their life, their effort to serving the ordinary person. Not government, not uh, political parties. They are people and stood for something and believed in something. And they have become icons. Nigerians adore them, Nigerians are grateful to them for the role they have played in nation building yes. and in standing up for, for rights and justice and everything. Especially when the people are no longer alive. Quite honestly, I don't think that people like uh, our mother Margaret Ekbo, Mrs. Ransom Kuti and Elijah, I don't think that they stood up for their people with the expectation that in the future that they will be honored. Uh, look at uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, Ransom Kuti. She was thrown out of a window and thrown down, you, you know, for whatever the reason. Women for whom gender is not a hindrance, but a benefit. They will not be restricted just because they are women. These new women, young, old, from every tribe, speaking different Nigerian languages, from every state, from every religion, winning against all odds in a world skewed heavily in favor of man. Fearless, fiercely independent. Once upon a time, this Nigerian woman was seen and not heard. Today, she is seen and gorgeously dressed too, and she is heard. <laughs>
under the Pink Health Foundation. We opened a school to empower women um, to be able to learn different skills in 